Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're not going to look at any SketchUp. Instead, I want to address a question that's come up several times, which is, what's the best way to get help with your modeling problems? So SketchUp is an incredibly useful tool that is used in I can't even imagine how many different modeling scenarios it gets used. People use it to create architecture and products for sure, but they use it for 3D modeling organic shapes. They use it to create simulations of, of moving parts. There's so many different ways to use SketchUp. It's very difficult for us to have a, like an, a one-stop support. Here's how to do the thing you're doing. When a lot of times the thing that's being done, we've never heard of before. So we do have some tools that are available to you to use, uh, and we want to cover how those work right now. Now, of course, I do want to point out if you're having problems with, with uh, installing or uh, activating software that you have purchased, you can, of course, reach out to tech support. That's what they're there for. Our help desk is there to help people install the software, get their licenses authorized, the issues with subscription, renewals, that kind of thing. That's what they're there for. When it comes to actually figuring out how to model certain things, that sort of thing, we have a few different paths and I want to show you those right now. Okay, so like I said, we're going to get rid of SketchUp here. And uh, you're probably already familiar with this first resource since you are watching this video right now. This is, of course, our YouTube page. So if you don't already, do please subscribe. And I'm not saying that in a self-serving way. We, we don't, uh, you know, I, there's nothing, I don't, I don't get anything back from you subscribing. But if you are subscribed, you'll be notified every time a video comes out. We try to put out as much video content as we can, as long as it's useful for viewers. Um, if you come in here, you'll see our most recent videos. And uh, what I recommend is checking out playlists. Playlists are how we organize some of this stuff. If I come in here and sort it by last video added, um, I'll actually see some of this, the content we keep most up to date here. So you can see here, I do have some stuff like some extension inspection videos. Here's our podcast, which we put up on here as well as uh, for audio listening on po your podcast channel. Uh, our Square One videos, our Skill Builder videos. These are our weekly, whoa, 257. Dang, that's a lot of that's a lot of that's a lot of skill. Um, we have some layout stuff here, and of course our live streams. Uh, if you do watch our skill builders and you enjoy them, you may want to check out our live streams. Our live streams we do once a week. It's myself or my buddy Tyson. We get on and we tackle a model of some sort in, for about two hours. Uh, it's great. It's fun. It's not it's not specifically hardcore learning. It's not real structured. It is kind of a relaxed way to spend a Friday afternoon talking about SketchUp. Uh, we go off on some other topics too, but there's always something to be learned from a live model. If you're looking for something more structured though, I do suggest you check out SketchUp Campus. Learn.sketchup.com will take you to campus. And in here you can see, here's all of our free courses. So you can actually come in here, this is page one of two. You can come in here and you can run any of these courses. These courses are taught by, again, Tyson or Eric, another one of my friends here at SketchUp. And what they will do is they will walk you through step-by-step -step, uh, creating models and, and output directly inside of SketchUp. So these are these courses are multiple pieces. You can see I have the several lessons in them. Um, if you haven't done any before, I do recommend right here, SketchUp Fundamentals. This is starts from, forgive the pun, square one, and builds up your knowledge of how to use SketchUp from nothing. So this is great. Some people who have self-taught have said that they've found a lot of value in going back and taking this because it does cover all the pieces that uh, you, know, you don't necessarily pick up when you don't know to look for them. Now, let's say you've, okay, you've gone through training, you watch videos, you got that thing, but you have a specific question with a specific model. I'm going to ask a question. This is self-serving. Please don't come in here and go to the most recent video that, that we've released and come in here and ask how to model the thing you're trying to model. Um, I say this because it does clog up the comments. We get stuff in there that's totally, you know, unrelated but it's also a very difficult spot for anybody to help you out. You can't upload an image that you're, of the model you're working on. You can't upload a file. Posting a comment on YouTube really is a terrible way to try to get help. So what I recommend is checking out our forum, forums.sketchup.com. And this will give you access to 
I can remember tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of SketchUp users that come up here every single day and help answer questions. The nice thing is once you get on here, you can upload pictures of the file you're working on, you can upload actual SketchUp files, and people can look at exactly what you're looking at and help you with that exact issue. Now, to make this efficient, to make this process worth your time, I do want to ask a couple things. When you register, you're gonna get prompted for this information about you, and you come down here, there's this section right here, license type, SketchUp version, operating system, graphics card, fill this out. I know it's tempting when you get forms like this to just type in, you know, one, two, three, four, and just put something in there, asterisks, whatever. That doesn't help. If you put in your information here, when you have a problem and you ask, what somebody who's trying to help you can do is they can just look at your profile and immediately know, oh, he's using SketchUp Pro 2021. I know how to deal with that issue. If you don't have this information in here, then the first couple of questions in your, your back and forth on the forum are, what operating system are you using? What version of SketchUp are you using? What's your graphics card? And that slows the whole process down. The other thing I will ask is if you do come in here, all you have to do is hit new topic and you can post that, that topic, go for it. I would ask on behalf of the entire community here that when you ask a question, give as much information as you possibly can. I know sometimes you're brand new and you know, you're newer to SketchUp and you don't know exactly what the problem is, but explain what you're trying to do, what you have done so far and share things like files or images. The hardest thing to help people with on the forum is when we get a message that says something like, drawing engine block can't figure out left side. That's really hard for anybody to help with. But you post a picture of what you're trying to model and share the model that you're working on, and then an image that circles the picture or the portion of the picture that you're struggling with, now all of a sudden somebody can come in and give you a hand with that. People on the forum love to help with your models but they can only do so if you give them the information they need to help you out. So like I said, this was a very different skill builder. Um, knowing how to get help is still a skill. I'll throw that out, you buy that. <laughs> but this is something that comes up almost weekly. Uh, somebody will post a question onto forum, or, or, or I'm sorry, onto YouTube that is something I, we just can't answer in that short little text only uh, way of corresponding, or people will get onto the forum on a daily basis and have good questions that turn out to be great topics to dive into and help with, but it takes two or three days of back and forth before the actual question what they need help with is out there. Um, if you haven't done it, I mean, I, and, and if you don't have a question, still check out our forum. It's an amazing place where people who are interested in SketchUp come together and talk about SketchUp, show examples. There's a gallery section in here you should just go check that out. There's see people's models that they've created. There's a whole tutorial section where people put their own user made tutorials. Great way to get help. And again, if you haven't already checked it out, learn.sketchup.com will take you to SketchUp Campus and dive deep into our YouTube channel. There's some, some gems in there somewhere. That, that was probably self-serving again too. Sorry about that. If you like this video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you don't already, please do subscribe. Like I said, you'll get notified of all that content we create on YouTube if you subscribe. Most importantly though, leave us a comment down below. Have you found a way to get good help? Is there another channel on YouTube or someone else who's making content that you think people should check out? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.